if you're in a conversation, someone should walk over and publicly call you a slut and a whore. Keep your composure and you should reply, that's a pretty dress you're wearing. <laughs> I think this is like a riot. Luann arrives to meet Jill on a rickshaw pulled by uh, a bike and the driver of that bike, the rider of that bike, of course, is a black guy. So now they've integrated the show. In my time, I'm an old guy, in my time, uh, we had Mickey Rooney and Judy Garland putting on shows in a barn where there was dancing and singing. Well, this show is this generation's Mickey and, and Judy. What's the matter with Ramona? Doesn't she know how to walk on a runway? How does she watch Tyra Banks? You know, the Tyra show. Everybody knows how to walk on a runway. Even guys know this. Certainly, uh, Alex's uh, husband, <laughs> uh, you know, Simon Van Kempen could teach her. He knows that stuff. They suddenly introduce a character by the name of Sonia who lives on the Upper East Side and she's very wealthy. And you know that she divorced her first husband uh, who... Uh, you got to believe had an enormous uh, amount of money, and uh, uh, and she lives in this uh, townhouse. And the whole reason for being there is that they are entering negotiations for the next season. They think, I believe, that one of the women, probably Jill or Ramona is asking for a raise. They want more money. And so they're using the leverage of Sonia. Otherwise, there's really very little reason for her to be there. But of course, like all of them, she's a character. You see her taking a pregnancy test, Bethany, in the bathroom. They keep the door half open. And uh, then the test is over. She, you know, gets dressed. And they move in the camera on the test strip and you could see it's positive she tries to call jason and my god jason's not there and uh, she can't reach him so she calls her friend and she doesn't know how to take this but then she's excited and she's pregnant by, by now she probably had the baby already so uh, you know that's a view into the future and she gets married and from what i understand since i reached page six of the new york post remember i'm a new yorker even though you know uh, i'm in the diaspora i still read um, and the new york post has told you that bethany has had a child and she actually married jason too the one with hair and Another thing I found out from page six is that uh, she only invited Ramona, you know, crazy-eyed Ramona, uh, and her husband Mario, uh, and also uh, Alec and Simon Van Kempen. By the way, just a little comment about Simon. In my opinion, Simon turns me off because he looks to me like a lounge lizard. He is a clothes dandy who tends to sweet talk women. He said to Ramona, okay, he leans over and says, you know, you remind me of a younger Cameron Diaz. Well, if you're not blind and you have an idea what Cameron Diaz looks like, Ramona doesn't look like Cameron Diaz. Ramona dresses in this black negligee, she has champagne, she seductively greets her husband, and apparently what she is looking for is a recommitment. I think in the future we're going to see some sort of ceremony, they're going to get remarried. Uh, Ramona 
is one who antagonizes everyone. She uh, has very colorful language. She tends to approach every subject with an open mouth. I find the Countess Luan strange. She seems a little out of place, you know, she's concerned with manners. And, well, she looks good, she's a very attractive woman. But I have a feeling that if she were starving and found herself in a New York deli, she's really starving, she would ask for a hot pastrami on white bread with mayonnaise. And the minute she bit into that sandwich, an old Jew somewhere in North Miami Beach would be stricken with a heart attack. What all these women need to do, especially Bethany, uh, Ramona, Jill, they got to train themselves to be a, a little bit more humble, to practice listening, uh, not talking so much. Be aware of their listen-talk ratio. And at least if you can't really do it, fake it. And that's the essence of sincerity, being able to authentically fake it. Jill, we find out, is of the Hebrew persuasion, although I suspect she does not remember being uh, persuaded. Uh, from all indications, she practices Judaism light because she is somehow explaining to the Countess about the holiday Yom Kippur, you know, the Jewish Day of Atonement. Suddenly, the Countess reveals, she reveals to Jill that she's dating a younger man. Not only is he younger, he's also Jewish. I can't wait to see this guy, by the way. So I'm looking forward to the next show. Now, why do people watch this show? Why do I watch this show? Well, because it's fast food for the mind. It's this generation's hula hoop or lava lamp.